Hey, what's up? This is Dom, and today on iOS Advice, I'm going to show you how to get your iOS device to read to you. That's right. You can use Siri, or Siri's voice, I guess, to read to you from any web page, document, anything like that. And it's pretty easy to set up, so let's go ahead and do it. First off, you want to go back out to your home screen and enter the settings app. And then you want to go down to general here. After that, you scroll all the way down until you see accessibility. Tap on that. Now, once you're in the accessibility screen, under vision, you have speak selection. And we're going to tap on that and switch that to on. Now, here we can set up some different options. We can set up the speaking rate. We can set up highlight words as they are spoken, and we also do have different dialects here. So we're just going to go ahead and leave it at the default settings for now and go ahead and test it out. Let's back out here and go into Safari where I have a nice little article pulled up. So what you have to do first is select something. And so we're just going to go ahead and select some text here We just selected the whole thing. Now we have copy or speak. And this option is only available when you have speak selection on. So let's go ahead and tap speak and have it read us this article. You've just figured out that you can read books on an iOS device. I've got the app for you. First announced almost two years ago. All right, so obviously that's a little fast. So we're going to go ahead and slow it down a bit. And we can just change the speaking right here. Speak selection reads selected content. It'll give you a little preview though when you switch that dial. And it really depends on what you prefer to listen to. So now that we have it set up to a speed of our liking, let's go back into Safari here and select all. And then we can tap on speak. If you've just figured out that you can read books on an iOS device, I've got the app for you. And then we can tap on this pause button here to pause it or press speak to speak again. And it's that simple and you can do this in any document or any app where there's selectable text and it'll read stuff to you. It's very convenient if you're gonna be hands-free for a while or if you're not the strongest reader or maybe you have a vision problem like this is intended for. Either way, it's a great feature built into iOS and you can enable it and have your device speak to you. So I hope this was helpful for everybody. Please let us know what you think down in the comments below. Thanks again for watching. My name is Dom and have a great day.